All yours, Steve.
Play, Mike. Come on, three more. Get it over with. This game is against the Rod, November 11, 1993. Still in the tournament. Good set. Good set. Come on. There we go. All right, Rhett. Good 
first game, 11-8. Okay, there's our first game, we won that one. Oh, Brian smashed the ball. Come on, Brad, get it over, 11 straight. Brad, give us 11 straight. All right. Back up. Come on, set the bread. Downtown part of Gatlinburg. It's uh, it's around two o'clock in the afternoon. They just come out the mountains from hiking, and uh, we're getting ready to go up to do some ice skating. 
very, very sunny, about uh, 60 degrees. Just really great. Right now we got Louie, Brad, Brian, and uh, Missy, and uh, Casey with us right now. Real, real pretty. That Brad went on two years ago and got sick. You saw a bear. Yeah, we did see a bear in the woods today, about 10 feet away from us, sitting on a rock. Got real scared. Scared the hell out of us. This is right before we go ice skating. Everybody has still got all their bones in place. Brad Bryant. KC. back here and there's Larry and I think that's Brian from here but I may be wrong take it back that's Brad there
place as you exit the entrance. There's some more stores and there's a post. Okay, we're now taking Ed and Brian. Self whipped up that time. He's going in for the kill. Come on, Larry, going for the kill. Going for the kill. There he goes. Okay.
Well, this would be something good for the St. Daniel Fair. Gatlinburg at night, around 10 minutes to 6, Wednesday evening, day before Thanksgiving. We're waiting for Gail and uh, Casey, Missy, Brad and Brian. This is looking south, looking north. This is the way in, we came in this way here. I don't know if it's going to pick up. We got a few chalets up in the hills. Way, way, way up there. Yeah, it's a three mile road. It takes a car. It's three miles to get up there. It's 70 turns to get up there. Seven zero turns to get up there, three miles high. Or three miles of road. Wait, it's not three miles high. I think it's about 15, 1800 feet elevation right there. Okay, 19, stop shaking, 1993, uh, I'm with Brad, we're on the ski lift, and uh, Gail and uh, Missy are somewhere ahead of us. And uh, Gay and uh, Gay and uh, Brian and uh, Louis behind us, and we're, it's a beautiful day. We're heading all the way up there. And I can't turn around and get the other crew, but I'm gonna give it a try. Is it green? You don't have to press it but once. Okay, green button. I guess good. Yeah, let's check out the fish. There's Brian and Bob. We had a switch because we just wanted to. Yeah, no, I'm looking at two big, three big ducks here. Good duck. Good duck. 
So you better turn, at least turn. There's the smokies. Just don't face it the right way. Yes, I'm out. Just do them all. Um, we got the top. Took us about 10 minutes, and I did throw up. I should have a party. Um, here's a needle, I think it's called, something. Far down. Go over there by Louie, yeah? We take it to film here. See it from here? I mean, this is Gatlinburg, all up and down here. That's the north entrance, and this is the south entrance. That's the entrance to the national park over here. So we're heading out now, it's 441. We'll be going right out that highway shortly, as soon as we eat breakfast at Shoney's. Heading to see T. Ford and Debbie in Atlanta. We can see the top of it going up. Oh, it's gone. There it is. We took the tram up yesterday. Great Smoky National Park. We're going to take a goodbye picture with Louie and Gail. Yes, Brian, I am today. This is, the, this is the action reporter. A big ride here at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. What? Get the fence. That's a fence? You like the fence? This is a special fence. Okay. Got the whole thing. Right. Yeah. It's got if the it whole doesn't thing. fall, in other words. Oh. Yeah. It's been a wonderful trip. I can do this for a living. Now, 
work, right? <laughs> Anything we teach, huh, Gail? Watch the camera over here, Yeah. Don't even touch it. Don't even get I'm close. I'm watching. Can you get the whole thing now? Oh, yeah. Come here. Still Walk it down here. Go on each side. Just... Get where the sun's not going to be good. Okay. Is that all the fog that day? This yeah, is the mountain at Newfound Newfound Gap. Yeah. I know, but I don't want to take it into the sun. Remember, it was foggy and overcast. I thought so. Say 11.30 something. Our way to um, Cherokee, Carolina. probably heading for the North Carolina border. This is what I see out of the window. Are we winding? I can't get to it. No. I'm trying to keep this thing still. Some more out of our car window. Look up on the side, boys. Y'all looking? <laughs> Looking for bears. Slow, it surely feels fast. It's going 45. 45. Sound of the windshield of the car again. Are we going to a mouth? What's your right of you? Highway 
441. My hairpin curves are on it. So this is pretty country. That's gonna make a good film coming out of the driveway man, with a bottle in your hand. Man, man. <laughs> you gotta put this in the car so when you have a wreck, they can say you a DWI. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing with no shoes on? <laughs> Don Musselman, you don't want to see this. You should have taken it when we went up there. Oh, God. <laughs> Y'all go run up the uh, driveway, boys. Why? Go run up the driveway. Let's have a race. Who can go up the driveway the fastest? <laughs> He's got your beat. He's tired. Well, he's used to it, so. What's that, another morning paper? Well, mine came late, so I uh, took my neighbors. He's out of town. <laughs> I collect his paper and his mail fire. Oh, this weather's going to break today. Oh, I'm cold weather, man. I hate this goddamn summer. I was so bored this summer working, Terry, just I wanted to scream. Well, if your, your work, you wouldn't. My work. Well, I don't, you know, when I... Whoop, there it is. <laughs> Whoop, here I go. <laughs> that is so steep, huh? Yeah. Uh, we have to wait until uh, Terry Spear gets his coat on. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. She doesn't even know anything about F-Stop and all that stuff. Turn it off. The other one's got a more different. Yeah. Put the date on it. Yeah, all kinds of things out. Where'd you get that from? Whoa, whoa. Oh, they got great price, best price. Yeah. Well, well, we beat them. Head is, you know, well, we beat them all the time. Get some Larry. Can, but they don't have these. Oh, good. They don't even have these. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> careful, Wally. I don't think I can see the car. It was on my jacket. I appreciate it. You're going to lose it. And you can know how to Where do it, huh? You want to get out of here? Yeah, go right. Oh, okay. Right, when you get to the... Alright, bro. Don't leave! Alright, 
<laughs> this is Terry and Gabby's tree. These are the houses down the block. This way. Take a picture of Amy. Take a picture of Amy. The street the other way. Down to the camp. You say that's your Yeah, you need to get up on the porch up there and take a picture. Behind, tied with bleach made it whiter. After all, how many lucky shirts does a kid have? If it's got to be clean, it's got to be tied. Now back to Charlie Sheen in Courage Mountain. I've always wanted to go to a party. We must go before they see us. They won't see us, they're kissing. <laughs> <laughs> kissing? Oh, it was more like they bashed their faces together. This is not a proper topic of conversation. <laughs> And Peter. We love each other. Really? You have a sweetheart. You're such a little liar, mm. Heidi. He gave me this. I know he loves me. Are you going to marry him? Well, I don't know. He's very old. He's 18. She's making this up. Honestly, Heidi, it's sickening. You're such a liar. <laughs> Are we ready to go home now, my dears? Or rather, back to work? I do so like to mix business with pleasure. Andiamo.
anything. We have to escape. But how did he find us? He's a devil. machines. Maybe even a telephone. We'll get to a town and we'll contact Mrs. Hillary. You said that about an hour ago. I'm scared, Heidi. What if the bone put Giovanni down the drain? Don't be silly. I'm sure he got away. that you send out a search party at once. Your Excellency, the silly girls ran away only because they feared they would be returned to this woman. I reassured them. I told them they'd never go back to her. And they never will, Signora, please. You have nowhere to keep them. And besides, you are only a woman, and we have a war to fight here. They'll be safe with Signor Bonelli when they are found. Sir, please, I am responsible for those children. All these men, they are heroes. Young man, as governor of Tyrone, I command you. Please excuse me. I implore you, sir. You must help me find the children before it's too late. Capitano, Capitano, a small request. May I borrow three or four mounted soldiers? Go away. Two de Vavi. You imbecile. You realize what will happen if the soldiers find those children? Stupid. Don't talk to me like an idiot. I'm a man. I'll be the judge of that. Now listen to me, you idiot. We're finished, Capitan. Jay, if those children talk, you must get to them first. And then? Make it look like an accident. Perhaps I fall off a cliff? Yes, an accident. A bad one. A very bad one. We have to get to shelter. Where? The mountain. It's Switzerland. Up there? Do you have a better idea? Get a blanket. It'll be cold up there. Don't touch him! Get his knife. Come on, get his knife before they see us.
Signora. Signora. A soldier spotted the children. They are alive. In fact, it would appear they might be attempting to go over the border into Switzerland. Crossing the Alps in street shoes. Signora Hillary, if I could help you, I would. As a matter of fact, you could. You could help me send a message to Heidi's grandfather and grant me safe conduct to Dorfley. At your own risk. Where are you, my little darlings? I know you're out there somewhere. This air makes me hungry. <laughs> Any excuse <laughs> to eat chocolate. Telegram has arrived. Heidi and some children are climbing the yard. To come home. Oh, that's insane. What is Heidi thinking? Oh, Heidi knows the mountain. They'll have to cross the glacier. And with the storms, nobody should be on the mountain this time of year. Oh, Peter, go after him. Please. We'll return to Charlie Sheen in Courage Mountain. For those of you who have been reluctant to wear a hearing aid, Miracle Ear has more great news. If you have trouble hearing in noisy situations, the exciting Miracle Ear Clarifier may be your answer. The clarifier features a special filter that automatically reduces background noise. I used to dread going out with my friends. Background noise kept me from joining in the conversation. But the Miracle Ear Clarifier reduces background noise. Now I can hear and understand just fine, even in noisy restaurants. If you or someone you know thinks they may be suffering from hearing loss, call Miracle Ear at this number and receive helpful information. I can participate in the conversations now. I can hear them, and I don't have to tune out. Find out if Miracle Ear can help you. Call this number. Miracle Ear will send you a booklet on better hearing, plus a coupon for a free hearing test. Call today. Learn about all the good news from Miracle Ear. Oh, I've got the worst cold a human being ever had. I've got a major presentation tomorrow. I've got a rest and about a NyQuil. I could take these, but I'd still be up all night coughing, which means I'd be a wreck for the presentation, which means I could get fired. But what am I going to do? Go next door like an idiot and ask? Could I borrow a cup of NyQuil? <laughs> Once you know what NyQuil can do, nothing else will do. When it rains, finesse adjusts. When things heat up, finesse adjusts. Conditions change, finesse adjusts. Conditions more when you need it, less when you don't. Your hair is always beautiful, no matter what. No matter what your hair goes through, no matter what life does to you, finesse your hair to beautiful, beautiful. Courage Mountain with Charlie Sheen will continue. Adding separate color safe bleach is out. 
because there's cheer with Color Guard bleach. Dirt goes, color stays. It's Christmas at Home Depot, where you'll find the most useful gifts of all. Like this Ryobi 10-inch table saw system for power and precision, just $588. Or this Ryobi 4.5-inch orbital sander. It's twice as fast as ordinary sanders, only $72. And this versatile Ryobi 16-inch scroll saw for precision cutting of all types of materials, just $129. Happy Holidays from Home Depot, where low prices are just the beginning. Wurlines plays the role of making you a star. Just in time for Christmas, Wurlines has this five-piece beginner's drum set on sale now for only $3.99. Or this three-piece beginner's drum set, Wurlines sale price just $2.49. And how about this PV guitar and amplifier with gig bag, on sale at Wurlines for only $2.99. When we build a Maglite flashlight, we craft the body from a single piece of aircraft aluminum. We seal each end with high-grade rubber O-rings. We give it a patented self-cleaning switch and a patented adjustable beam. The Maglite flashlight. Brighter. Tougher. Made in America. Flawlessly engineered. The Maglite is a work of art that works. This holiday season, give the gift of light with a Maglite flashlight. This holiday season, you can waltz around town looking for the right gift. Or you can come to Oakwood Center, where you'll find over 100 special shops and never, ever the same old holiday song and dance. Oakwood Center, we make the holidays jolly days. Now back to Charlie Sheen in Courage Mountain. Oh, Ursula, just walk. Yeah, walk. But this is ridiculous. People just don't walk from country to country. Not in these shoes. I hate these shoes. We'd have kid leather dancing slippers for my coming out party. Silver ones. Mommy and Daddy promised me. Grandmother will give me her evening shawl. It's Belgian lace. Who cares? with bandy little legs. Should have overtaken them by now. I live on the other side of that snow. I know how to get home. Do you know how to get home? I'm going back down. I don't care what they do to me. I can't leave. The hardest part is ahead. 
I can't take Clarissa Ailsa and Gudrun all by myself. Well, let's all go back. It's too hard. No! We have to go on so that Grandfather can notify your parents. I don't have any parents. I have no one to notify except Jane Hillary. And we don't know where she is, do we? She could be back in England for all I know. Here. I don't have a father. I don't have a mother. They took her away. It wasn't proper for her to have me. She was too young. Gudrun and I thought that we were the only ones. Parents never cared much for us. They should have told us sooner. I've sent my friend Peter after them. Come in. I have been trying not to blame you. You're welcome to. I certainly blame myself. Not that it changes anything. Out of control. The world was never in our control. You would know that if you had ever lost a child. When Heidi first came to me, I had lost my wife, my son. And I turned my back on God and man. I did not want Heidi. Not at first. She was a burden to me. I had to provide for her, feed her, school her. Her little voice was everywhere. Questions, prattle. I had no solitude. Which seemed so important to me at the time. But it was not before long I came to see that what I gave her was so much less than she gave me. She gave me back my life.
This is good. Good for what? Dying? It's all right. It's okay. I'm here. I wish I'd you so many times. So you didn't forget me? Christmas. As soon as I can get a sled to carry us all back. Peter. Well, the snow's much deeper than I thought. Tomorrow I'll ski back to Dorfley and bring help. And leave us here alone? I'm coming with you. Without skis? So, who has a song for? Can't have a campfire without a song or a poem. Didn't anyone teach you to recite at your fancy Italian school? Not I, said Fry. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula's the best. Go on, Ursula, do one. She's really quite the actress. <laughs> Lord Lovell. Stood at his castle gate, combing his milk white steed. When along came Lady Nancy Bell to wish her lover good speed. Stop! Not that one. It's dreadfully morbid. Lady Nancy Bell dies. I don't want anyone to die. It isn't morbid, it's romantic. <clears throat> we won't let anyone die. Then you go, Heidi. Go on, amuse us. 
Go on. I'm not really very good at it. Christmas, Heidi. Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Christmas. Advent, Advent. A little light burns. First one, then two, then three, then four. Then the next, next, the Christ, Christ child at the, the door. door. We know that one. Advent, Advent, a little light burns. First one, then two, then three, then four. And next the Christ child at the door. We'll return to Charlie Sheen in Courage Mountain. Senior year, thought I knew it all. For tough headaches, I took Tylenol. Today I take Advil. See, Tylenol didn't always get rid of all the pain. Back then my doctor prescribed some medicine that really helped. The same medicine I can get in non-prescription strength in Advil. For my tough headaches, two Advil work better than two Tylenol gel caps. These days, when a tough headache starts, I take what works better for me, Advil. And for a cold, try Advil Cold and Sinus, advanced formula for the cold season. Doc Cologne from the House of Stetson. Preferred's Doc Cologne. What preferred men prefer. Now introducing a dandruff shampoo just for women. Sell some gold for women with the number one doctor recommended dandruff medicine plus our new conditioning system. New cells and gold for women. Effective on dandruff, gentle on hair. Alka Seltzer Plus Nighttime. For relief without alcohol, hit the box, not the bottle. How fast does Anbisol start to relieve toothache pain? Before you can say, Anbisol. Denture pain? Before you can say, Anbisol. Relieve minor mouth pain on contact with Anbisol in regular or maximum strength. The doctor's ready. That cold pill. Antihistamines. Sometimes they make you sleepy. Well, there aren't any in Advil cold and sinus. It's tough on the cold. Mm -hmm. Not on you. Advil cold and sinus. Advanced formula for the cold season. Magical journey of discovery for the whole family to share. Incredible! The night they saved Christmas. Today at 6. They say the Sparta police force is sort of like a big family. Good luck, Chris. No matter what happens, they stick together. Deacon Scum, you set me up! Yeah, we set you up! Any winner, Carol O'Connor. Academy Award nominee, Howard Rollins, in the heat of the night. Weeknights at 11.30 on WGNO 26. My mother would have a fit if she thought I wasn't using a detergent and a fabric softener for my dirtiest clothes. But why mess with these things when Ultra Bold does the job of both? It's the only concentrated detergent and softener in one. See? Super clean and super soft. With Ultra Bold, I don't need a detergent and a softener. I just keep them around in case Mom drops by, which is always right about... Ultra Bold. Clean, soft, and simple. Mom, what a surprise. Shh, I have a secret to tell. A secret? Yeah, Santa Claus has been to the jewelry center. Santa Claus? For crying out loud, now that you let the cat out of the bag, I might as well tell everyone. Santa has been to the jewelry center bringing the largest selection of gold and diamonds at prices so low, we're practically giving it away. Giving it away? Yes, you'll be saving big, big bucks on all our dazzling gold and diamonds. So if you're shopping for jewelry this Christmas, shop at one of our three locations. If not, you're just not shopping. Your teeth aren't flat, are they? Of course not. If they were, a flat brush would be ideal. But since your teeth are shaped like this, we designed our brush like this. Introducing Crest Complete. 
Your dentist uses special instruments that get between teeth. Crest Complete gets between two, up to 37% farther than the leading flat bristle brush. So to help maintain a dentist clean at home, get new Crest Complete. Only Crest could make a brush this complete. The meat shop is having a sizzling beef sale. Where else could you get 260 pounds of beef, pork, and poultry for $9.90 a week? You get 160 pounds of USDA inspected beef for 99 cents a pound, plus a 100 pound bonus pack, absolutely free. Charge it, 90 days, same as cash, no money down, no payment for 30 days. Free 50 ribeye steaks for the first 25 customers opening 90 day charge accounts. The Meat Shop, 4345 Williams Boulevard. Brought to you by the makers of Advil Cold and Sinus, advanced formula for the cold season. Now, the conclusion of Courage Mountain. Ursula? Peter? <laughs> Ursula? Peter? Ago. You were still sound asleep. I didn't want to wake you. What? Look, Peter's left us some more food. And chocolate. Why didn't you wake me up? Please take your hand off my shoulder. I will when I'm ready. See? Peter wouldn't leave without saying goodbye to me. such a dangerous mountain. <laughs> now it's time to go home. I'm not going back. You can't make us. Not now or ever. You creepy, crawly, caterpillar face. We're not afraid of you. Come on. My little darlings, I want no more trouble. And since I wouldn't want you to catch a cold... Get your things! No! Enough!
Rope around. In the cave. Around the tree. Advent, Advent, a little light burns. First one, then two, then. I hear them. I thought I'd never see you again. You 
children and old men and kind ladies. Oh, thank you. And green grass is for goats, as you will find out in the spring when you take Schwarli and Barley up to pasture. Then I'm not going back to the orphanage. There is no more orphanage to go back to. Yes. Grandfather, are you sure it's all right keeping the children over the holidays? Oh, it will be all right. And if this little one is the only one I can keep longer, then I guess I'll have to learn to live with it. To our heroes. Which one? Heidi. Heidi, beautiful. I'm sorry. I have to leave. Oh. I have to get back to my post. Tonight? On Christmas Eve? There is a war on. It's not in Switzerland. I'm still a soldier, Heidi. Good night, all. I will see you soon. I promise. Merry Christmas, Peter. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Peter. Peter. man now. He has responsibilities. Peter? Heidi. It's freezing. Catch a cold. I'm a big girl now. Well, I can see that. But you still need to stay warm. You'll come back? Well, I will if you don't go running off again. I will if I want to. But I'll have to make sure that you don't want to. <laughs> 